Malo Lava, I'm Lisa Tauma from the Tiki Lounge Productions team. We are a team of Coco Creatives, of storytellers. We've been going for seven years now. We have a, a really unique raft of storytelling. We make the coconut, which, thank goodness, has, has found a really great synergy with Pacific people around the world. It started the bones of a universe that's been filled in by a lot of the people that have contributed globally and created these great cocoa conversations. These are stories that nine times out of ten haven't been told before. You know, making it with a crew of other people like myself, brown, young and handsome, you know, it's pretty awesome. I grew up in Fiji and I didn't see a lot of brown content on screen and when I moved to New Zealand and started working at Tiki Lounge, I realised that there were a lot of creatives and a lot of options to make great stories. It's important for young brown people to tell their own stories and to tell the audience that a Samoan person, a Tongan person, a Niuean person is so much bigger and so much more than just what we've traditionally been told that we are. I'm probably within this team most proud of just being able to tell stories that not a lot of people would know about and even me, so like I've been able to go on the journey as well and learn as I've been going. Being authentic is really important. I think we live in a massive age of spin. Just hearing our stories, our language, our uh, polyisms, our not even our chair bro, silly, all that stuff. It's mainstream now. Us is up there with hello and good day. <laughs> I think Fred had a big part to do with that in the sharing of our culture. We laugh together, we cry together. And at the end of the day, our stories kind of enrich who we are.